Okay, so today, today's topic, for honour. About a month old, the game. Got it the other day with a, with a few others. Um, I've already played it a little bit, so I've got a few missions into the game. Um, looks pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I've been playing it on board because I've been waiting for the the TI, the 1080 TI to come out. But um, yeah, we're going to do the usual that we've been doing for, for previous videos a while ago. We're going to play on board. We're going to do uh, 1080p with uh, going through the spectrum of the settings on the graphics. We'll then kick it up to, to 4K to see how it handles on board. Um, if it's playable at all, I, I don't think it will be very playable, but we'll have to see. Then we will get the 1080 Ti FE into the amplifier and we'll do the Spectrum again. We'll do 1080p through the Spectrum and then we'll kick it into 4K and see how it handles. Um, I'm hoping we do get some decent decent frames, but we'll have to see. I mean, we've had various issues before with brand new cards and the graphics amplifier. Maybe we'll have to do some cross testing in in the uh, Area Fifty One and through through some other games to see. Um, like I said, it's a brand, it's, it's a relatively new game, so and the card is brand new. It's been out two days, so maybe there's uh, going to be some updates that come out soon. But uh, we'll see how we get on with it and uh, catch you guys in there. Okay, so we are in. Um, for honor, as you can see, I've played, uh, I've played around with it a little bit just to let you guys see the graphic settings display. We're currently on 1080p. I've had to put it on broadless window. I tried recording um, various different ways in full screen. It gives me a, a window at the top, which you guys can't see, but it's very irritating for me. It basically puts it into window mode either way. So the only way I've managed to get around it is broadless window and. It zooms in a little bit for you guys, it makes the picture better for me, so that's what we're going to stick with. Um, resolution. Should be automatic. There we go. Um, as you can see, we're on the onboard, we're not running the amplifier just yet. We go to graphics. Uh, I'll set it. It's I haven't bothered with low because it's. I put on what it recommends, which is medium settings. You see, that's using just over half of the actual graphics card capability itself. Um, we're going to do a little bit of play, a little bit of play. Can we go back and do some preview submissions? Yes, I can. Just it makes it easier for you if I know what I'm doing. Um, which I the first am mission. Apollyon. Warlord of the Black Stone Legion. In that year, I sent one of my commanders, Holden Cross. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, so you can actually change some of your classes and bits and pieces in here. I mean, leaving this. you pick them up as you go along. One of them is for healing, and your attacks are unblocked for 30 seconds, which is handy when you go to full beast mode. I'd like to have a healing one on there because. Sometimes you just get absolutely smashed up. Fast recovery, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, sat on 60 throughout the whole introductory bit. It's fluctuating now, it's just loading, the fans are kicking. I don't know if you can pick it up on the mic. That day I learned that I was serving the wrong warlord. We'll skip this, I don't want to spoil it for you, but we will change the. Uh, We'll change the graphic settings as we go through. We can't really actually know what we're needing. I mean, what are we doing? Looks pretty good. So I'm shifting to them. Ah, is it going to make this tutorial again? I think it is. Basically, that got that red box. <laughs> Change your guard. Ultra basic stuff. Block. Okay, he's going up top. Block. 
Just move your mouse in the direction. Yeah, okay. Now we've got block two to the right. And block one to the right. And now two to the left. I'll make this as quick as I can for you guys. Yeah, we are hitting 58, 60 FPS throughout the entire beginning bit. We'll drop to 50. I was playing it on uh, high and extreme graphics myself, and it was playable. There was no dramas there. Let's see how it attacks. See, he's blocking up the top. So if I go to the right and then hit him, bosh, game over. He's blocking to the top. Hit him from that way. Now I've just got to reckon. I think. Defending wave one of three. Oh, you got to turn your guard off there. You go. you follow a little uh, X's on the screen. Reinforcements were coming. There's more coming. I'd say what we do while we're waiting for him to get out the ladder, we will go on to the graphics and we'll kick it up to high. We're hitting around like the 50, 60 FPS mark. Done. And we've dropped a little bit to the high 40s, and now we've got two of these guys to get. You can block more as you go along. Still hitting the good, good frames per second. Still 50-60. Depending on the, uh, I think he's going to drop now into the courtyard. Just look up at the sky and give you some better frames. <laughs> right, light attacker. Yeah, these guys you can't focus on. You just got, to, just got to power through them basically. It's only got the, uh, the knights and stuff that you can actually focus on and, and do proper attacks with. Yeah. And stand the bars not drop, which is handy. So I'm just skip. I don't want to spoil any of the game for you. There's plenty of walkthroughs. I mean, maybe we can do a walkthrough for you if that's what you want to see. But it's dropping. What do I need to do? I'm going to go down there. So we're still hitting decent frames. Um, oh yeah, I forgot there's a button. Wait for the attack, wait for the attack. Go on, go on, okay, I'll hit you first then. This guy's a crack. It's probably just going easy. It's really good. It's really good. Execute. Extra points. Yeah. So yeah, we're hitting in the 50s still. Not too much to uh, to moan about. And like I said, we're still on uh, 1080p resolution. I haven't changed any of that yet. So what I'll do is I'll kick the graphics. Hopefully, I haven't done a huge amount of testing, but it should knock it up in game. Shouldn't have to come out of the game and go back into it. And it's dropped. Dropped a little bit there, so yeah, I think that is it's in game. So we're 40 odd now, which is what I've been playing in about 40 FPS. Just on board. So if you can get in there before his attack hits, you're good. Yeah, just wasting your stamina on attacks that aren't going to work. Got him first. <laughs> Bitches to kill. Smash through them. 
So yeah, we're still in the 40 FPS, which I'm happy with. I mean, in 4K, I assume it's going to struggle. I haven't actually tried this game in 4K yet, so... What I'll do is we'll do a little bit of time, and then I'll come out, chuck it onto 4K, just to see if it is even playable. We're going to have to put it on low settings, I reckon, to get anything out of it. Sorry, I'll skip that. Jump down into him. Still hold the castle from invaders. Me too. Just keep coming, don't they? Another oh, good old man. We just getting there, get stuck in. I got killed by gold now. Start the duel. Wait, right, so now. Out them quick attacks. I was dodging them. Oh, blocking them out. Oh no! <laughs> right, I see it. I have a miss. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still 40, still 40 FPS, still playable, no dramas. Oh mate, he's at it now, he's at it now. Ugh. Oh, you slap. The pressure, it's getting to me. Executing. You've got to finish off with a big move for executing. Game. Execution. Checked. Dropped into the high 30s there, I know, so we that little bit of a spin. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, we're going to jump out, come back in uh, 4K, still on the onboard, and we'll see how we fare with that. Okay, so welcome back guys, um, had some fun trying to get this into 4K, it goes in perfectly fine, but when you go into display, it's saying I'm on uh, 1080p still, but as you can see the graphics card is stressing hard, that uh, it's, it's a lot more than it was before, so you just believe me it's in 4K, I think because we've got it in borderless window, I had issues when I first played it that I couldn't get it full screen, if I select it to go from borderless window to window, it puts it into a quarter of the screen, which is obviously what 10, 1080p would be. But borderless window is forcing it to use the full 4K screen. Uh, the FPS has dropped dramatically, um, and the and the graphics card bar is right up the top there. You can see how much it's being used. Just to confirm, and it's on low settings as well. So if you know, pretty much proof there that we're running in 4K mode. So um, colors are even. Pretty good actually. We're on about 28 FPS, so we've had to pretty much lower it right down to basics in order to get it playable. Um, I will knock it up a little bit, but I think realistically, yeah, it's 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 only going to be playable on low. There's not really much else we can do with it without stressing it too hard and killing the computer off altogether. I mean, the fans are going ballistic. And that guy, once again, gets wrecked. Okay, change the guard. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, yeah, sweet. I will blitz through this again for you. I need to block two attacks. Yeah, one. I mean, 
in all in all, it still looks pretty good. It's not juddering or anything in my end. Um, but I'm very excited to see what the uh, 1080 Ti will offer. If, if, if this can do 4K in low, then I'm expecting, you know, extreme, considering the card is 3 gig on board. And uh, the 1080 Ti is an 11 gig dedicated, so exciting stuff to come, I think. Yeah, let's get this chunk out of the way. Still 24, 25 FPS. You're dead, son. So yeah, 28, 29. And it looks really good. There's a lot going on. Um, sorry, where was I going? I'm going to <coughs> I mean, this should be interesting to see. I will try and knock it up to medium. I don't. It didn't make a huge difference going from from, low, from medium to high. So from low to medium, maybe it'll still be playable. Maybe I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. Um, I can tell you what we do now. We'll, we'll knock the graphics up. Um, so medium is what it recommends, and as you can see, it's pushed it past what it's capable of. So. Um, I assume the uh, the frames, yeah, they dropped to 18 just as I've applied that, so the frames are going to take an absolute hammering, and the game should be pretty much unplayable. 18 frames, I and mean, yeah, it just it seems really, it's not very smooth, it's juddery. I mean, the graphics do look better as, as a result, but yeah, um, yeah, 18 frames, steady. It's, it's not what I consider good enough to play. I mean, you could just about get away with low. But if, for me, I'd rather play it on 1080p in extreme uh, on 40 frames a second than, than the, you know, like this. But, like I said, the, the, the whole point of the laptop and getting the AGA, I didn't in, intend to play 4K games uh, while on mobile. So the amplifier just gives me the ability to play 4K. Hopefully, depending on what we've got in it. So what we'll do now is we'll we'll call this one a day. Um, I will boot back up with the 1080 Ti on board, and we shall do some 1080p and some 4K testing for that, as well as we'll do some comparisons. Okay, guys. So I had some fun getting the uh, 1080 Ti to be picked up in the amplifier. I had to do some updates. So I was panicking that uh, the, the power supply in the amplifier wasn't powerful enough to actually power it up properly. I mean it was turning on and uh, lighting up, spinning up, but it wasn't actually detecting it in the uh, device manager. It was saying basic, uh, basic graphics, um, basic display driver or something to that effect, so it wasn't actually installing it. So I did an update of the driver and it, it tweaked in. A couple of, couple of restarts later and we're back in. So um, as you can see here we've got the 11 gigabyte card there and it picks up 11 gigabytes of graphics to use which is good it is in um, 1080p at the moment um, the reason why I, I kind of disabled the onboard to force it onto the TI and then I re-enabled the old one and it seems to have picked up now it's a bit sketchy but I assume that Nvidia will iron that out with uh, future updates and drivers and stuff but as far as it stands it's picked up the card here as you can see uh, we're in 1080p and I've got on medium graphics and 122 frames per second at the moment, so it's a considerable jump. Um, as you can see, we're back on the same mission. Can't go wrong with this mission. <laughs> it's a fair time we see it now, so yeah, there's no spoilers in there. We've got to do this stupid tutorial bit again. But well, to be fair, sitting on comfortably 100 90, 100 FPS Death to the enemy! Now that dude's going to get wrecked There he goes See how quick we can do this now We're getting quick every time 100 frames, comfortable 
I really want to see what it's like in, in 4K more than anything. But we'll persevere. from the right as you stand up there every time ready. Oh no, from the left. Caught me out then. Right, now I can kill you. Now let's kill him. Come on, man, give me something. There we go. It's fluctuating, but it's pretty convincing on, you know, 100, 100 thereabouts, 110, 120. We'll knock the graphics up a little bit for you. Uh, go up to high. See how we fare. Still a hundred. So it's bouncing around quite a bit, but it is consistently hitting the hundred-ish sort of frame. It drops down to high eighty sometimes. But in open play, yeah, hundred, hundred and ten thereabouts. But didn't he have much of a jump between them? So what I'll do is I'll knock it up the next one again just to see if it does. When we put it onto extreme, start to tax it a little bit more. Still on a hundred. Well, we'll do shortly. We'll, uh, we will upgrade to 4K and see how it copes. I say this may be subject to change with um, with graphic updates. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Maybe up the uh, subject to change with with updates for the game and stuff. This is the first game that uh, I've tried it on, so. What we'll do, we're still hitting 100, 110 in uh, 1080p on extreme. So what we'll do is we'll come out, we'll come back in 4K and work our way up and see how we get on with that. Okay, so we're back. We are back in 4K resolution. And again, the display still isn't showing it in 4K, but I guarantee you we are because the graphics card is demand has gone up. And the graphics is on medium 40 odd frames a second I've done the uh, tutorial bit so you don't have to ah, watch it again I needed to hold that wall. God. so around about 44, 45 someone should have played you better I remember there not being a huge jump between medium and high. So we'll jump that over. Okay, so still around the 40 frames. I don't know what that is, maybe there's not that much that changes. I'm walking through the door there, I think that's why it's let me get out of there. I think I was backing through the door, which is why it was a bit sketchy. Thirty nine forty still. The person was expecting it to be a bit higher, but I'm not too sure what's gonna affect. Like I say it's a new game, so it still looks very good to me. I don't know if you guys can see the crisp resolution I'm seeing, but we will pump it up again to extreme and it's around it's only dropped about three four FPS so I'm not too sure if there's some settings in there that I can change to boost it a bit more or something but I mean even in 
In 4K it's playable, it's not sort of juddering around or anything. Perfectly fine, 40k. 40 for FPS, sorry. It will be interesting to see when we play a different game whether it's uh, the same story. It's pretty out of the room attacking. Smashing through him. Um, still 38, 30 ish, sort of higher 30, so. What is he doing, the dickhead? Smash through him. I think I've already got it. Is it in that one? No, it's not there. The fall of the last sanctuary in Ashfeld. A thousand years have passed since then. Bundle. Please get off. 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 Please Quality has uh, improved for me on my 4K screen. I appreciate you're probably going to get it in my like, you know, on YouTube, but the quality has improved. It doesn't appear to be juddering around or anything. I can hear the graphics card now before I'm kicking in. So there's definitely uh, the fans definitely kicked in, so it's loading more. But strange. I mean, it's been pretty consistent. And it's playable. I was expecting slightly, slightly higher, but I guess until we play it on a couple of games, it may just be this game. Particularly, it's not geared up graphically, driver-wise. Perhaps, who knows? Through. Okay, so yeah, we'll start the duel with this guy. Okay then. Sorry, aggressive. Yeah, you would do, wouldn't you? You would do. You would do. Come on. Yeah, dodge. This guy is getting executed. Just throwing that one out there. We are still on thirty odd five. Setting match, I'm afraid. So we'll pause that there. Um, so yeah, it would appear that we're hitting between 35 and 40 in 4K on Extreme, which is pretty good. But there's not been a great drop between that and all three settings, so I'm not too sure why. I need to delve a little bit deeper into here. Everything seems to go onto high and you know maxed out. So even when you 
drop them down. It's only it's only going up a few frames each time. It's only going to low. It drops to goes to around about 45, 50. So yeah, a bit strange, but um, we'll we'll cover it all in the conclusion. Okay, guys. So uh, in conclusion, the 1080 Ti we got it working on the amplifier. In the end, it was a bit of a slag to get going. We had to update some drivers and play around with some settings. The game itself, I'm not 100% convinced it is optimised to be used with the AGA. Um, what makes me think this is that when we're flicking through the settings, you know, to medium, high, extreme, the frames kind of stay pretty consistent. They only dropped one, maybe two frames. So when you're going from medium to extreme and you see a two drop in frames, it kind of makes you think, A, the card's bottling, bottlenecking. B, it's not using the card for potential. There's some sort of cap there where it's not been, you know, configured correctly. Um, but in short, yeah, in in extreme, we were getting 35 to 40 frames a second. It was smooth. It looked good. There was no juddering or anything like that. I could see it looked perfectly fine. But I was expecting to hit, you know, probably double that in frames. So uh, I don't think we're really going to see why that was the case until we play a few more games. So we, if it's see if it's a, a pattern, there's a trend, you know, that all the games are doing it, then maybe there is something else. Like we had the previous card that was slightly bottlenecking. Maybe it's bottleneck, bottlenecking big time with this card in the amplifier. But we're not going to be able to find that out until we run some tests, do some pass marks, which I will do in a later video. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to see how we get on with that one. Um, it, it worked. It was fine. We got it in the end. I mean, the fact that I had to play around with the settings to get it working in the game and it wasn't even displaying... The right resolution kind of froze in there. Like I said, maybe there's some issues with you know the game needs to update. I mean the graphics card driver was updated and it worked, it detected it, but um, maybe there's uh, an update pending soon for the for the graphics amplifier where it's going to be able to optimize it a bit better and, and get more out of the card perhaps. But we'll have to see how that pans out. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, like the video, chuck a subscribe on there as well. Plenty more to come from, and uh, I'll see you again soon.